So today we're going to work on a problem that talks about moments of inertia in the xy plane. The full problem is written in the description below the video. So we're asked to consider a thin circular plate of radius A that lies in the xy plane and is centered at the origin. So the plate has variable den area density, uh, kr, where k is greater than zero and r is the distance from the origin. And we're asked to find the moment of inertia of the plate about the z-axis. So you can kind of think of a dinner plate and it's spinning like that. So let's recall how to find moment of inertia in the xy plane. So we're looking at a double integral over the given region and we're integrating r squared, which is the distance to the axis of rotation, times the area density, and we're integrating with respect to area. So for this problem, I'm actually gonna integrate in polar coordinates instead of in Cartesian, because I have a circle, you know, r and theta are pretty easy to think of. So let's try to set this up, right? This r squared is just gonna be r squared, right? The r in polar coordinates. And then I'm given the area density to be kr. And we're going to treat k as just some non-zero constant, positive non-zero constant. So I have the double integral of r squared times kr, so kr cubed. And then I have dA. So dx dy if I were in Cartesian coordinates, but r dr d theta if I'm in polar coordinates. So I'm going to switch that r cubed to an r to the fourth. So now I just need to set up some bounds of integration. Well, in the problem description, I'm given that the circle has a radius of a. So I'm going to integrate r from 0 to that a. And then we're looking at the whole circle. So theta goes all the way around from 0 to 2 pi. OK, let's go ahead and start integrating. First, we're going to go with respect to r. So treat k like a constant. And the integral of r to the fourth is going to be 1 fifth r to the fifth. I'm going to pull that 1 fifth out. And then I want to evaluate this from r equals 0 to r equals a. OK, let's go ahead and plug in. Well, r equals a should be pretty easy, right? I'm going to get k a to the fifth. And then when I plug in r equals 0, I'm going to get 0. So now I want to integrate k a to the fifth uh, with respect to theta. Well, k and a are both treated like constants here. So when I integrate that, I'm going to get k a to the fifth times theta. And then I'm going to evaluate that from theta equals 0 to theta equals 2 pi. So when I plug in 2 pi, I'm going to just k a to the fifth 2 pi. And then when I plug in theta equals 0, the second term drops out. So let's write this out. So I get that my moment of inertia is 2 pi k a to the fifth over 5. And then if I was doing a specific problem, I would just have real numbers for k and a. But since we're not giving anything other than variables, this is our answer. 